We're breaking down the ship classes of Royal Caribbean, highlighting class-specific features, and giving you the insight to choose the best ship for your next Royal Caribbean voyage. Coming up on Talking Cruise. Hi, I'm Chris Cardona. Royal Caribbean has been a leading innovator in the cruising industry for over five decades. From 1996 through 2021, Royal Caribbean introduced a new cruise ship every year in all but six of those years. Their current fleet of 26 ships, which includes two under construction, are grouped into seven ship classes, each with their own base of specific common features. In this video, we delve into every ship class highlighting common elements within each class while also identifying unique offerings from ship to ship. Currently the oldest vessels in the fleet, Vision-class ships were launched between 1995 and 1998, and of the original six ships in this class, there are four remaining. With two full decks of balcony staterooms and suites, Vision-class ships made the once-out-of-reach balcony stateroom more accessible for cruisers. These ships were also the first to feature Royal Caribbean's adult-only solarium. Voyager class was not only a game changer for Royal Caribbean, but also the cruise industry. These incredible five ships, launched between 1999 and 2003, proved that just about anything is possible on a cruise ship. Aside from their tremendous size, Voyager class introduced many firsts like ice skating on real ice, the rock climbing wall, the royal promenade with interior facing staterooms, Johnny Rocket's Diner with water view booths, plus expanded food and beverage options, entertainment venues, and enhanced Royal Caribbean signature spaces. Over the years, these ships have been upgraded many times to include some of the latest, most popular features from across the fleet.
The four ships of the Radiance class were launched between 2001 and 2004. While Royal Caribbean was building the much larger Voyager class ships during that time, Radiance class ships were designed to Panamax standards to allow them to pass through the Panama Canal. There are many design elements carried over from previous classes, however, Radiance class ships were all about taking in the views. In fact, these ships boast exterior view elevators, two level glass sections in the dining rooms, many ocean facing public venues, and over 500 balcony staterooms. The three ships of the Freedom class, launched between 2006 and 2008, built on the success of the Voyager class ships with many enhancements. While the overall design between the two ship classes is quite similar, the increased size of Freedom class allowed designers at Royal Caribbean to push innovation and provide more onboard experiences. Freedom class introduced the line's first cantilevered whirlpools, Lowrider Surf Simulator, and dedicated Kids Splash Park, plus expanded dining and entertainment venues in the larger Royal Promenade and around the ship. When it comes to major leaps forward within the cruise industry, the introduction of the Oasis class ships in 2009 has been one that has set the bar to such a high level that even after more than a decade, no other cruise lines have come close. The four Oasis class vessels, with a fifth under construction and another on order, are vessels whose design is so revolutionary in size, amenities, varieties of accommodation, and awe-inspiring onboard experiences. Royal Caribbean delivered a long list of firsts with Oasis class ships. These include the first zip line at sea, diving and entertainment venue, the Aqua Theater, two level loft suites, handcrafted carousel, and the two split hull sections of Central Park and Boardwalk offering dining, entertainment, and the first non-ocean view balcony staterooms. Never to be outdone even by their own vessels, in 2016 with the launch of Harmony of the Seas, the third Oasis class ship, Royal Caribbean introduced the Ultimate Abyss Slide that winds its way from Deck 16 down to the boardwalk on Deck 6. The Perfect Storm water slides, including the line's first champagne bowl slide, Splash Away Bay, and the Bionic Bar. These new features and more have also made their way to Oasis of the Seas, following her 2019 amplification, with the Lure of the Seas currently waiting to receive a similar makeover at a future date.
Sometimes it's not about building bigger, but smarter. Royal Caribbean's Quantum Class is a convergence of style and technology that delivers an incredible array of features and onboard experiences. First in this class include Ripcord by iFly, the only skydiving simulators at sea. North Star, where guests get elevated 360 degree views from the comfort of their observation capsule. And Cplex, a two-level multi-purpose indoor space offering activities like bumper cars, roller skating, basketball, and more. Be entertained in the one-of-a-kind theater 270 where the latest tech in robotics and high-definition displays envelops the audience and is part of the show experience. Add to that sophisticated dining choices and some of Royal Caribbean's most popular features spun in a totally new way. Expanding on the successful technological wonder of the Quantum class, Royal Caribbean's Quantum Ultra class ships deliver the same excitement with some new additions. New to this class is Skypad, offering thrills of a virtual reality bungee trampoline, loads of new dining and beverage spots, and glow-in-the-dark laser tag. Tweaks were also made to elevate the onboard experience throughout the ship. There's not a lot publicly known about Royal Caribbean's future new builds under the Icon class. Currently, there are three ships in this class on order, with the first scheduled for 2023, and vessels 2 and 3 following in 2025 and 2026. These ships will be an all-new design, likely featuring some incredible new experiences, plus incorporate many of Royal Caribbean's most popular ones. The 200,000 gross ton, 5,000 guest vessels will be larger than Quantum class but smaller than Oasis class and utilize new propulsion technology with an eco-friendly LNG drive system significantly reducing emissions. Thanks for watching our Royal Caribbean ship class overview. Don't forget to like this video, post your comments and questions and subscribe for more Talking Cruise.